Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the newest update to Dev Horizon. It wouldn't be my channel if I wouldn't make a video on it. At this point it's like a tradition that whatever new releases for this game, I'm most definitely covering it. And you know, some say that I'm milking it or something. To me the philosophy is that I like to reward developers with my attention that really deserves that. Cause look, this game is around for so long now. It literally has been like what, around 2 years already that we're getting free updates, new stuff. Like at this point any other studio would either drop it or start working on something new but we're still stuck with it I mean for a good reason because it is a good game it's just the love and compassion for a project that you work on is very much admirable and inspiring I don't know if I'm gonna have a trailer for this specific update at this point but just reading it out from this patch it brings like oculus features FX improvements new leaderboards which are very much minor things to me but the biggest thing are new game modes and challenges we've been playing pretty much the same game for around one two years so I feel like the variety of doing something else is gonna be very beneficial for the game in the long run which is gonna be quite a while but I'm curious what it is about because I don't have specifics will it be like the concrete weapons that you're gonna play or different locations like shooting range to just train your aiming skills at zombies I really don't know what to expect to be honest but it's gonna be fun to play something else other than just the campaign I don't know if something playthrough worthy something different I guess should suffice for now guess there's not much to say just let's go to the gameplay <laughs> We're back, 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 back again. Challenges, huh? What is it about? So, deep dark there. Darkness itself dares you. Triple dares you. No light. Oh, with a flashlight. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not a challenge for me. This seems like a modification to the campaign or whatever. Kinda just from, I'm assuming, like high score and stuff like that. Speed run. Run for your life. Nothing else has changed. It's played only time matters now. Okay. AR-15 only. You can use only close combat weapons. It seems fine. I think I'll try that one. You have only one try. Any damage will be lethal. Headshot shots and you can see them oh no oh no 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 i mean actually this should not be scary whatever let me see close combat for now i guess continue is gonna be like starting over the campaign i'm assuming no actually no so we are like in the base just with stuff wrenches whatever let me see i wonder if like the dogs will be here as well because that's gonna be hard for just close combat stuff Come at me. And stay down. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, the thing is that now those break, so... It's like, kinda hard. Just do our building. <laughs> Stay down. And also those running ones, like can I take this? Oh shit, wait. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what? Get out. Give this. <laughs> to the right door. Here we go. We got chi. <laughs> That's interesting now. I've never played this game in close combat kind of manner. I don't think this is a part, I mean this is a part of campaign, but I wonder if we can play all the way through or is it just like some limited amount? Get out. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay, now. This is too heavy for my comfort. Yeah, here we go. Oh, 
Okay, so essentially this is just a modification to the normal combat we have. Let me see some other challenges. I think the scene of evil could be interesting. And now we can continue from the challenge we chose. I'm assuming this is like a play for worthy, but I think it's just gonna be the same thing. I don't know how that's gonna be. Maybe there's gonna be like just some floating hands running at me. <laughs> this, 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 ammo, ammo. That's crazy. How many times I came back to this game for now with the updates? Okay, I can see the shadows actually. This not all bad, I think. I mean, it's less scary actually, which is lovely for someone that gets scared here. Just shadows running at you, it's fine. It's not traumatic. Huh? See? <laughs> It's kinda funny. Okay, hit me. I wanna see like how it's gonna be. Huh. You can't be circle something that you can't see. This is actually not that bad. <laughs> I can do a whole playthrough like that. <laughs> like in the next chapter or something. Here, here. I have to look at the ground basically. I don't think I can hatch on them. I mean, I can assume the height, but that's it. have to really be just aware of your surroundings <laughs> I think it's gonna be the same pattern right yeah so every challenge it seems like it has the same kind of placement of the zombies it is predictable then which I don't know if it's a, like a good thing but you can play one challenge and then play this. Know where to expect the zombies. What the hell? Ow! Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. You can't get scared because you don't see anything. I love that. <laughs> Let's do this flashlight, whatever. It's just gonna be too much for me because I hate settings like that. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> uh, no, that's not for me at all. <laughs> Traumatic. And it's like not even long range, it's just like a short range. I mean, it's good that they have like kind of red eyes and particles, so I can kind of tell where they are. Oh no, no. <laughs> Nightmare inducing, fuck this. <laughs> I guess that's pretty much it from this update, you know? I mean, I love the variety now that you can play this game in various ways for your own preference. I definitely see, see no evil fun. Close combat might be a bit too hard. I think see no evil is my favorite. Just because there's like no danger coming at you initially, so you have to just pay attention at the ground and that's basically it. And the rest is just like weapons, time limit and stuff like that. Well, a little bit on the basic side, but still brings some certain variety of the gameplay. Always fun to go back to this game. But I'm still waiting for the new chapter, honestly, so I think that's gonna be next update on the roadmap, so we'll see.